never been a time in my life. Y'all, it's your man Jerry Goins again, and uh, you know, I was gonna talk about manifesting your reality, you know, what it really means to do that. Because a lot of things, a lot of people say, you know, there's curses and blessings coming out of it, the power of the tongue is both curses and blessings, and it's absolutely true. Then, when creation first happened, the Bible said that God spoke a thing, and that thing happened, you know? So it has to come out of your mouth for that thing to manifest, number one. Number two, you have to be thankful for these things in advance before they even happen. Like, you want to be, you know, thanking God for health, well-being, for no sickness in your body, for, for the wealth that you have to be able to bless others for the Holy Ghost, for the conviction, for the wisdom, for the discernment that you need to be able to go out here and magnify his kingdom. You gotta be thankful for these things like in advance. And the thankfulness of it in advance is what actually triggers these things to manifest into your reality because gratitude is the gateway to prosperity. You can, no matter what wealthy person that you ask, they're gonna say gratitude is part of their blueprint to gaining wealth just being great just being gracious and then in the bible it says that you should pray pray without ceasing now to pray without ceasing i know that sounds crazy like what should i be like on my knees like you know 24 hours a day should i be just you know always you know saying amen 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 and it's, it's not necessarily the the action of what you think a prayer is that you need to be um, praying without ceasing throughout the day. You actually want to be just thankful and, and gracious throughout the day. You know, even if you like go up the stairs and you don't trip, thank you, God. I didn't fall down the stairs. Thank you, right? Even if you enjoy a meal, you, you know, you want to say grace before and after the meal. You want to thank God. You want to thank, be thankful when you spend money, not just when you receive money. You know, it, it's, just a, it's just a law of being gracious and, and a gratitude because you got to think about it. If somebody gives you something, no, better yet, you give somebody something, right? I'm going to give you something, and you don't say thank you. How many more times am I going to keep giving you and keep blessing you? And you don't even, you're not even acknowledging the fact that I'm here and I'm, and I'm existing and I'm giving to you. Not too many more times, right? So, yeah, I think about it the same way. That's, that's, God is the same exact way. Or even though he is the most merciful being, he's going to bless you beyond measure regardless because you're the apple of his eye. You're his child. After a while, you're going to dry up your blessings without that gratitude coming back to you. So you want to stay in the spirit of gratitude no matter what. Just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And, and you know, one of the ways that I do it is just by listening to uh, praise music. You know, when I listen to praise music, I start my day with, with, with praises on my mind. I end my day with praises on my mind because these same catchy songs that we be listening to on the radio, you know, I'm riding around and I'm getting, I'm riding, you know, okay, you might be riding around and getting it, but, but you ain't thankful. So now when you listen to praise music, you have praise music in your head, praise music in your head and then you're just walking around like, I don't have to worry, no fear, I don't have to worry. You know what I mean? Like, like you start to you start to manifest these things and, and just start to be grateful for the life that you have. And you start vibrating all, on a higher frequency. You know, they say love is the highest frequency to vibrate on. And and hate and and you know jealousy and envy and bitterness and and you know contempt, all those things are low vibrating frequencies. They come from the very bottom, you know. So if you wanna get to the very top where the creation is because God created out of love that's where he created from the highest vibrating frequency out of love he did all this out of love and I can prove it because he could have made us slaves he could have not given us free will and a lot of people miss that people be missing the fact that God gave us free will because he doesn't he didn't want a bunch of slaves and how do we still be in bondage? How come we ain't getting blessed? And how come we're not living the lifestyle that we want to live and doing all the great things that we want to do? It's because we're slaves to sin. 
You know what I mean? So you have to understand that he's already given us free will. You already have salvation. You already have everything that you need. You just have to confess it. Number one, that Lord Jesus is your savior. But also you have to understand that by not accepting that you have free will, this the ability to go wherever you want to go, do what you want to do without having to, because he could have created a bunch of robots that said, praise me and, and, you know, program them all to say, you know, praise you, Lord, praise you, the Lord. That And we all would have been slaves just praising God. But now he, he gave us a choice to do it out of love. So that's the highest vibrating frequency. So I just want to bring y'all that, man. Y'all know sometimes I come on here and I just, just, just rattle off, but just the gratitude, just the sheer gratitude was on my heart today. And I just wanted to, you know, pour that into y'all and give somebody the, the courage to be grateful even when it doesn't look good. Because you got to believe that God is always working for your good. The plans that he has for you is to prosper you and not harm you. He don't want you to... He hates to see you going through what you're going through. But sometimes he has to bring you through that so he can take you to a higher place. Creation usually involves the destruction of something. You know, so that's all I got for y'all right now. But, you know, I just wanted to give y'all that. And other than that, y'all, just, just be safe out there. We're going to see y'all tonight, um, San Juan event. And tomorrow we're going to, well, Saturday we're going to be in L.A. We're landing tomorrow. But, um, you know, just thank everybody for support. And thank everybody for just being out here. And, and you know, just inbox me if you got questions. And, um, you know, I'll be able to help you out, help you kind of navigate this stuff. Because it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff out here and a lot of distractions, a lot of ways to get off the beaten path. But, you know, the path is already here for us. We just have, we just need help from people that, you know, maybe going to places that we want to go, be in the place that we want to be. And I'm here for y'all. That's just want to let y'all know that. Other than that, peace. Love you, Ali. I see you. What's going on, Jamal? Thanks for hopping on. Thanks, Martel, for hopping on. Ms. Rodriguez, thank you for hopping on. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.